living stereo. It's the most tremendous new musical experience you can have. Looks like we're going to get started on another one today. This is my friend's dog, Jewel. This border around here is going to be a two inch border. Whether he wants that or not, it's always a safe thing to keep it in within that two inch border. And I, I've got grid lines on that um, already drawn. And the next thing I have to do is start sketching out the, the dog according to the picture. So. I'm going to hang this up over on the side there. The interesting thing about the, this picture, or this painting that I might be doing, I haven't done a dog since probably the late 80s, early 90s. You know, I did a couple of dogs for some people. I did a whole family of dogs for one person. And then I did another German Shepherd for another fellow that I worked with but up until that time I haven't done any dogs so this is going to be a new learning experience for me so I got to get over here and start sketching this thing out Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Well, I'm about ready to cut another mask off of this thing and probably going to finish off the rest of the body on the dog on this time, Jules. And uh, well, the next thing I'm going to be doing is doing the background after I get everything squared away with all the little tiny hairs down in here. But first, 
we need to turn on some music and I'll push the button where is the button ha! the play button okay here we go Boy, that was some pretty fine maneuvering there, Rat Bank. I'm telling you, it was really good. I think maybe, uh, maybe we should pull this mask off now, huh? What do you think? I'm going to start working with a fine brush now. Sometimes this is called a rigger brush, or Back in my country, it's called a fine brush. I'm starting off with the darker colors, and now I'll be going in with some more whiteies. Right now, just make sure I shake it up good. Always good to have that music in the background while you're doing this. So now over that darker gray, I start working in with this almost pure white. And the more that you go over it, the lighter those hairs are going to be. Alright, this portion that I'm painting right here, which is a lot lighter, is the bone portion of the leg. And the hairs are going across it like this. The curvature of that bone. And now these toes down here, they have to have that curvature too if they're going across that. I just mixed up a little bit of brown. Let me test this out. Nice and light. I'm going to put this in my airbrush. Hopefully it's all cleaned out. I got this all masked off now and I'm looking at it and there's a lot of detail that has to go into this. Man, I got a lot of work to do. Well, it's that time that you need to stop. You think the painting is done, then you get back, you stand back, you look at it. Oh, I see something else. I could be at this thing for a month and I'm gonna pull the masking off so I can start working on the background tomorrow. Here it goes. I made it. All right. Jewel, I think you look pretty good, kiddo. She looks pretty good. I'm happy. I'm very happy.
Better go wash my hands before I go and eat something. About a week ago, I did this sketch on a piece of mylar, and I put some of that masking tape over top of it. Now I'm just going to pull it off, and you can see the pencil lines are on the masking tape. So I'm going to try to use this to overlap what I've already done. It's going to be tricky. No doubt about it. This is going to be tricky. All right, now it's all burnished down and it's time to start sketching it all in. I'm going to be using this river scene here with these trees. I might move this tree here up into the foreground more so that Jules' tail will be curling around and pointing to it. So I'm thinking that the, the tree will be a little bit larger and right here in this area so that the composition will be Jules' tail to the tree to this tree to these trees and down to the river and to the horizon line in the back here on the other side of the river in the greenery. So that's what my thoughts are. And I've had a week to think about it. That's what I'm gonna do. Alright, so they don't have to be so correct that they have to look like leaves because they're all scrunched up anyhow, so that's what I'm doing. So now I'll take that piece of tape 
and uh, we'll set it on top of that and pull it off again like we did on the last one. And then I'll have a sort of a masking template that I can use for the leaves. Uh, you get the idea. So I'm just going to continue on with this. I'm not going to put you through the torture of having me cut every one of these. Thank you.
Here we go. This is the, the moment you've all been waiting for. We're going to remove the biscuit off the jewel. 